Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Celeste and this is From Far Out. Today I wanna to talk a little bit about the crystal Dan right? I'm gonna tell you its general meanings and properties, uh, how I like to use it in my practice, and then a crystal that I really like to pair with it to enhance its abilities. First, I just wanna say that I do not believe that crystals are all healing and they're gonna do all of this work for us and our lives are gonna be changed when we buy a crystal. Um, I think there are tools that can help us help ourselves, but there's a lot of work that has to go along with using a crystal. Like any tool, it is something that will aid us on our journey, but it's not going to do all of the work for us or make anything like easy. So please take everything I say with a grain of salt and know that everyone's experience is gonna be different based on the amount of work um, that we're willing to put in. So first I'll go ahead and show you the four pieces of Danburyte that I have. Um, I'll put in some close-ups here. So I have two that were sold to me together. They really feel like partners. Um, one of them has a little bit of pyrite inside and they are both chock full of rainbows. Danburyte always, always has rainbows. It's a very easily rainbowified crystal. Um, and then the other two I have, I bought them together but they weren't like together together. Um, they are individual pieces, so the one that is a twin has a lot of rainbows, and it's even slightly pinkish. Danbury comes in mostly clear, sometimes pink, um, and I think there's even a yellowy-green variety of it. And then the other one that I have here um, is sort of like the most perfect termination at the end, um, but then the other end is like the least perfect termination, so it's really cool um, energy. And it also has a little coating of a like a quartz druzy on top. Um, you'll often see Danburyte with that like sugar coating or sugar drizzle of quartz on top. Um, it is a very beautiful stone. You can immediately see how uh, calming and spiritual it feels. It is definitely not a grounding stone by any means. Um, it is an exceptionally uplifting energy. So Danbury for me sort of feels like the access to the angelic realm and the access to our guides, our teachers, those that just observe our life. We're not here in this experience to do it alone. We're here for a reason. And there are energies around us that help us find that reason, that help us follow through with that reason. Um, and when we're feeling a little bit disconnected from that divine guidance, um, that divine love, we can use Danburyte to open up those communication channels to allow message to come through, to allow feelings to come through, to allow um, our teachers to teach us the way through this moment in our experience. Danburyte opens that eternal time connection where there's more than this moment. Um, I know we spend a lot of time trying to be present because we're always worried about the future or we're stuck on the past. Um, Danburyte is not a very... Well, I guess it could be. I don't feel that it's a very present right now stone. I feel like it's a very, um, there's more to this experience, but I think that can add to our presence um, by removing the like worry and the fear of future and past um, and bringing us down to accepting this moment because we know there's gonna be more than this. There's We know there's gonna be more than what we're worried about. Um, so yeah, it kind of balances itself out in that way. Kunzite is a very feely stone. So because it connects to our crown chakra and our heart chakra, it opens up those feelings of love. And when we allow ourselves to feel what Danburyte has to offer, we enter another plane of divine love. We, we enter um, source and connection and limitless abundance of love. And when we feel limitless and when we feel abundant, we release stress and fear because we're always, as like physical bodies, we are in survival mode. We are wanting to stay alive. Our brain is telling us to stay alive. The chemicals in our body are telling us to stay alive. Um, and then Danburyte comes in and is like, well, don't worry if you're alive or not. Like this experience is not end all, be all. So just like chill out and you don't have to worry about what's gonna happen next. If you're gonna eat later or whatever, just be in the space and just chill out. It's okay to feel good because you are connected to spirit. You don't always have to be worrying and fidgeting and, and trying to fix things. Um, it's okay to just let good feel good. You are deserving of feeling good. You are deserving of feeling love. No matter what you know perceptions people have put on us or, or people said we're not supposed to feel good in our body if we're fat, it doesn't matter. Feel good in your body no matter how you feel about the look of your body. You are allowed to feel good 
any day, any time, because there is more than worry. It's that feeling of unconditionalness. There's no ifs, ends, buts, whens, worries. It's just endless love. There's no question about it. There's no how do I receive it? There's no do I need to do this or do that? There's no hoops to jump through. It is just there. Um, and that's what our spirit guides and angelic realms are trying to remind us of is that there's work to be done and there are things that need to happen, but regardless of if or when those things do happen, you will still be met with unconditional love, life, and truth. I like to think of Danbury as like an angelic rescue. Um, I, I don't use it every day because I feel like it can leave me feeling very flighty and not a whole lot of um, groundedness but when I am feeling a little bit too heavy or a little bit too you know stuck in the earth Dan Burey calls those angels to be like come get me I need my wings and they will always have your back. Dan Burey is really good for intensifying healing so if there's difficult emotions or difficult things that we're going through at the time um, there are a lot of things that we need to know and be aware of to go through and process all those feelings but Danbury can help us intensify things. So for folks who are a little bit difficult at um, feeling empathy or like find a difficult time feeling empathy for others or have a difficult time letting yourself feel difficult emotions, you're kind of the person that just like sweeps under the rug and moves on or or is like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. And just like not think about it. Um, Danbury is going to intensify those emotions for you and really make you feel them and go through them, but in a supportive way. Um, I feel like we can sort of be scared of things like Moldavite that are just like gonna push us right through without our permission. Um, but Danburyite is sort of a little bit more caring in that manner. Like it's going to intensify your healing by pushing you through those emotions, but it's going to do it in a way where you don't feel overwhelmed by them. Um, it's going to clear a lot of the uh, extraness, like I said. It's gonna clear a lot of the path forward for you so that you can move safely through the stages of your emotion, whether it be grief or heartache or, or whatever the situation is. It promotes a lot of clarity. So intrusive thoughts or things that sort of push you over the edge, triggers, um, they're all going to be, okay, I don't wanna say all because I don't wanna be like, this is medicine and a doctor's gonna tell you to take it and it's gonna be great for you. I, I wanna say that Dan Bure, if you're looking to do that and if you're willing to sit with yourself in a meditation or sit with yourself at any time journaling, and if you're willing to put yourself through those, through those emotions, Dan Bure is going to help you do that by clearing and supporting you through it. But if you're just gonna buy Danbury and be like, oh, well, my, all my feelings are fixed. Every trauma that I've ever been through is over. Um, it's not gonna do anything for you and you're just gonna find yourself in the same cycle and you're gonna come back to my video and comment and be like, why didn't this work for me? Uh, you've gotta work for you, babe. You have got to work for you. So because Danbury is such a feely heart angelic stone, something that is almost a mirror of that that I like to pair it with is Kunzite. Let me pull a couple of these out. I just have these little chips. Kunzite is very expensive when it's high grade, um, but I have these little chips that I like to use for gritting. I'll show you a close up. Oh, they make such a good sound. I love the sound of crystals together, um, even when they're not like technically singing crystals. But anyways, the reason that I like to pair Kunzite and Danbury is because Danbury is a little bit more of a crown chakra spiritual stone. Um, with that heart energy and then the kunzai is more of a heart energy stone with a little bit of that spiritual connection through your crown chakra. So these two really feel like a beautiful balance to me. Um, Dan Bure, <laughs> I'm getting confused now. Kunzai is the most prolific unconditional love stone that I can think of. I know that everybody says, oh, rose quartz, is, it's a it's a great stone for unconditional love and loving yourself and all that. And I absolutely agree. I love rose quartz for that. But kunzite is a little bit more of a igniter in that way. So if you are somebody who has a significant lack of self-love or lack of feeling connected to divine unconditional love, Kunzite is a little bit stronger in that way. It's really going to nurture your path towards connecting to your divine love. It really helps you feel, Kunzite really helps you feel 
um, supported in love and then bringing in connection to divinity and to that spiritual realm um, is actually a great way to call your spirit energies, um, your teachers, whoever it may be. If you are feeling like, well, I used to work with this one spirit a lot and I haven't really connected with them in a long time or found a new connection, or if you've never worked with an individual spirit before or like a reoccurring energy, um, like in a crystal skull or with a specific animal or something, if you've never had that continuous connection, Kunze and Dan Grit together are really gonna help you find that. Um, there's a lot of feeling and a lot of uh, thinking that has to happen first and like it's a whole process. Um, but if you're willing to make that consistent connection, you're going to find a depth and a plethora of angelic messages. So that's a little bit about Kunzite, what I use it for and how you can pair it to help in your own life. Thank you so much for listening to me rant about this. Um, I am so, so happy to share with crystals that are resonating with me at the time um, and share some message that I feel needs to be out there for the collective. So let me know if there's any other crystals that you want me to share my experience with, um, any that you deeply resonate with that you might have questions about. Um, and I would love to do that for you. So thank you again. And I will see you in the next one. Peace and love from far out.